maybe that tells you something about you know maybe them as a human maybe but like as soon as you have ai well enough that it could talk to you like a person people will just believe that it has a subjective experience it it doesn't even matter if it does or not mm -hmm. um which i think that 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 whole way of thinking about things is like not the right framing which is why it doesn't make any sense to try to come up with answers there but but nevertheless it doesn't matter because people if you have a robot that could just walk around and act like a person people will treat it like a person that's but if if some if somebody uh, wrote something using gpt3 that was this existential text and i read it and felt understood like wow this is philosophically interesting to me and then I learned that it had been written by an AI. That does substantially change how I feel about the text. Well, okay, but, but I think that's again because the, the way that we're generating this text right now, like I said, it doesn't, like it knows what it's writing, but it also doesn't know what it's writing in such a way that what comes out is kind of a gimmick in a certain way, right? Mm -hmm. Um. This doesn't have to do with fundamentally whether it was written by a robot or a human being. If you had a robot who was as good at thinking as a human being, would you feel that way about it? I don't know. Maybe that's something where people just will disagree on an individual basis. But I don't think, like I certainly would feel uh, like I had one put over on me if I discovered that. Um, but that's because of the nature of the current process that generates these texts. I don't think it's inherent in it being machine gen like here's here's the thing, all right? So on the one hand, we're conscious human beings who walk around and have living experiences and so forth. On the other hand, when you're talking to somebody like I'm doing right now, right? I'm saying mm -hmm. these sentences in this video. Mm -hmm. Where do the words come from? Like, am I consciously choosing every single word? No. Like, I mm -hmm. feel like I am. And we do have conscious processes where we stop and deliberate about what we're going to think sometimes, but we don't usually do that. Usually the words just come out, right? And mm -hmm. they happen to be in accordance with what I believe I was wanting to say at the time. If that weren't mm -hmm. true, we wouldn't be able to speak fluidly. It would take way too long to, like, make words. And so if you, you know, this is something that anyone with even a little bit of meditation experience can do, um, is you look at what's, what's your actual conscious experience, right? Versus these other things that we intellectually think about ourselves as human beings. And like, okay, if I think and I'm choosing what I say, why can't I see that? Pro why am I not conscious of that process? Well, I don't know. It happens somewhere unconsciously. And so, there's two things about that. A, you don't know what that process is by which those words come out. They just show up and, and then you observe them showing up out of your mouth, right? And B, therefore, it doesn't necessarily have that much to do with the experience of being human at some level because you don't know most of that experience. The words are just there, right? And so feeling differently about words generated by a computer is strange because mm -hmm. you don't really you don't really know like you, your words that you are saying came from outside of you in some sense in that you don't have introspective capability to it you're just mm -hmm. your brain is kind of programmed to accept them and feel good about them as as belonging it's like your immune system is not rejecting this experience of these words coming out but where do they come from mm -hmm. It's actually, it's, it's a very, very basic thing that almost like we all just ignore all the time. Right. Right. But, but the point being, do I have much reason to believe that words generated by a computer are that much different from words generated by me? No, I don't. Hmm. I mean, there's the, there's the philosophical zombie idea, right? Where, um, you could talk to somebody who, claimed to have consciousness mm -hmm. and showed every external sign of genuine consciousness. But in fact, there was, there was no first person experience. There was no 
inner life. It was like a uh, or the Chinese room experiment. You know, yeah, I don't think any of those. I don't think any of those really make sense. Um, and the reason they don't make sense. So there's this mystery that starts all these questions, which is like, mm -hmm. we're conscious beings in a universe that we perceive, and that's like happening, right? Mm -hmm. As opposed to you could imagine some dead universe where like mechanical just like things a marble are going run. on and there's yeah. no perception, right? Yes. So yeah. why? Why is that? And that's a fundamental question, right? Mm -hmm. um, but then we imagine, because we have this Western cultural background, we imagine that our conscious experience is somehow produced by a machine in some way. That's what it comes right. down it's to. An, right, it's an emergent property. Right. But nobody can explain how this would happen, and nobody even has a good working idea there's all sorts of ideas where people start to try to explain this like uh, you know integrated information theory or something but like they all fundamentally don't really make sense right mm. um and so if you don't if you don't give any credence let, let's not even i won't try to convince people of one thing or the other let's just say you don't give any special credence to the idea that consciousness could be created mechanistically or not Mm -hmm. Just like I, I 50 50 on that, I have no idea. Then right. you would have no predisposition toward these things like the Chinese room or, you know, any of that stuff, you know, uh, philosophical zombie kind of stuff, because it's like, well, that whole thing rests on this foundation of an idea that I don't have any reason to believe or not believe, right? You just know that consciousness is, mm -hmm. and then you you don't know how it comes to be. And so why would you believe that it could be specifically made to come to be in certain situations and not in others, right? Mm. I, I've always viewed the, the existence of conscious thought and experience um, versus what seems to me to be actually, it, it seems almost patently obvious that it couldn't be an emergent property as evidence that that we don't live in a purely material reality like th there must be a, some some spiritual realm that is different from you mean you described the empty universe with atoms bouncing around since that is clearly th the the state of play were you to assume we understood everything just from the rules of the laws of physics the, the, there must be something else beyond the kind of empirical scientific world that that is portrayed that's that's one way to think about it um but the word beyond there is also sort of doing a lot of stealth work because <laughs> uh -huh. um so so we just there's a lot of different ways you could think about it right i mean and and we're so we're so on the one hand, in the West, we have a very rich and strong tradition of thinking about the world that has been tremendously useful and has done a large amount of work and has enabled us to raise our standard of living and also do all sorts of horrible things, but, but it has proved its usefulness, right? On the other hand, we're always in this constant struggle of figuring out which parts are a little bit wrong, right? Mm -hmm. And tuning those, because if you think you know everything, you can't learn what you need to in the future, right? And so obviously we don't know everything right now. Mm -hmm. um, and so we need to like open some windows a little bit. And so, uh, well, you, you know, you started out by, by invoking this picture of Okay, there's like the mechanical universe, as it's sometimes called, and then mm -hmm. obviously we're in that plus something, right? But even saying we're in that plus something, or maybe, or whatever, is like, it invokes this idea of the mechanical universe, which is a picture from the 1800s that nobody believes anymore, right? But we still mm -hmm. use it as a picture, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. when you say like, what what is that? Like, what are atoms? It's like, well, yeah. actually, they happen to be vibrations in fields <laughs> that happen to be coherent over time and what is time exactly and by the time you build out the whole picture mm -hmm. it's not even that surprising 
<laughs> that we don't know everything about it because it's this it yeah. it's this really crazy kind of nutty thing like even what i just said is not really true because like there's the whole um you know <laughs> quantum inter interference the, right. aspect to it of like things going different yeah. ways is and it a wave cohering. is it a particle no it's it's all waves it's not a particle but but like but but, it, but if you if you send photons through double slits they yeah, appear yeah. It's, at specific it's that... points, right? Yes, but but the, the answer to all that is it's actually all waves. Um, it's just which <laughs> ones we observe, right? Fine. But uh, but yeah, like it's just so so we we still use these pictures though. Everybody, yeah. including me, we use these pictures that are out of date because we haven't fully grappled with the ramifications of the new picture we don't have full like we know certain things and we haven't got mental closure around everything we know and we haven't integrated all these things with each other to form a new picture that makes sense to us that we can mm. then use to move forward right yeah and so so when we start with these things that we already know are not right it's not that surprising that we end up with things that are confusing or paradoxical or don't make sense. It's like, yeah, but duh, you already know that the, the line one proposition that you set out is not really right. 